Hey, random pop culture news for Gary King, Mr. Manny Wolverine. Guys, the rest are out to Schwartz's channel. Follow me on my social media platforms such as Twitter and Instagram, aka anything else, or Discord, or links to description box down below to any of the channel hashtags and all that other good stuff. Sorry, I'm a little bit more of a preppy or hyper active as all hell move today, but I know this has been a while. Four or five days old. I'm very late to this. I'm half week way old on this. I know it's way late last month, March. Might be two, one or two other characters for Tekken, even though I'm wearing the wrong thing. But they've clashed twice before in Tekken 5 and Tekken 6 with Mortal, Mortal Kombat Street Fighter. So there's that. So it's kind of almost right. Eddie Gordo is finally coming back. There's so much allure to this backstory character. I know Christy Montaner, Tristinas, or Christina Montenegro. Montenegro, Montenero, Montenero. That's very Portuguese and Brazilian, but I've always. Love the crap of Montanero. If they brought her back, that'd be cool. Unless they're going to save her all the way for Tekken 9. If not, it's going to be a, one of the last one or two extra DLC characters. We'll probably get the middle or the end of this year for Tekken. Or Tekken. Tekken. Hey, King and Iron Fist. That's a call in Japan, just like with Resident Evil. And speaking of which, I got a little extra news for that. That and a little extra random pop culture news. want to stick to the end of the video. So, 3, 2, 1. Let's get it in. <laughs> it should be good. It wasn't one of my mains back in the days, Eddie Gordo, but I always loved his backstory, man. It's like a rags of riches thing. It always made me cry with his backstory and Christy Montenegro, Montenegro, Montenegro. I don't know. It's in Portuguese. I don't know how the fuck to speak that shit at all. This one, let's jump into it. It should be wild. Oh, it's crazy to see that again. Wait, let me see it again. I got to see it again. You, boom. Oh, I missed that shit. All right, cool. Here we go. Let's see what they did this character. Because we only got a sneak peek of him before, so let's go. Você vai ver o melhor da capoeira. <laughs> yep, the Portuguese. I don't know what the hell he's saying. Here he is. And I'm going to be New challenger! Coração ardente, mas cabeça fria. Eddie Gordo! Ah, his freaking music is very, very rival, very jungly, very Amazon Brazilian desert sort of thing. It's Amazon like jungle rainforest sort of beat, beat and vibe I get from Woo! That beat is nice. I'll probably get tired of it after a while, but it's a nice music thing for him. Oh! Good man, good beat for the drum song. Nice. Ugh! Oh, I forgot about this trick. Being in any room. Parece que você continua impiedosa como sempre. Oh, that's a danger. Oh, yeah, he's doing the fast style. It's like some Virginian Jiu-Jitsu or something like that. He did it too. Christy Montenegro. I think that's Eddie Gordo's cousin. I forgot who it was. I know he's related to someone. I'm going to have to go all the way back to the lore. I'll leave the link to the wiki down below. Link to the wiki down below for the Lord. Oh, the uppercut. The upper freaking kick with a freaking knee. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh final cut. How good is it going to be? How good is it going to be? Oh, he's turning into like a desert world. What? What? Oh, whoa, the vibrant colors. That was cool. It was like an Alaskan Aurora thing. Oh, that was cool. Oh, shit, I gotta see that again, man. Hold on, I gotta see that again. It's like the Aurora Borealis thing. That was sick! And he was all the way on the other side of the world from Alaska in the military. He's all the way in the South Pole in the world. Did they got, like, a Southern Brazilian version of that? I gotta see the mixture of the colors. It's like some green silver gem shit. Hold on. Boom! Oh! Oh, it's like a tornado disc, too! Okay. Not bad. Not freaking bad. Bam, bam, bam. So you do it again. Never seen to amaze me, my guy. Let's freaking go. <laughs> oh, I already came out like two days ago. I think I haven't seen it. Official release April 4th. Oh, early access was April 4th. Okay. So tomorrow he's coming off for the rest of the world. Okay. It will not leave. Oh, there's still three more. I thought it was just two more. What? What? Oh. Christy Montenegro. Now she's gotta be it. She has to be one of them. There's so 
so many other characters. Thoughts, use everything and speculations. There are so many other freaking characters in Takan. So many of them they like left out. And then they're promoting the shit out of this last year and year before 2022. Late 2022, November, all the way to like December at the end of last year of 2023. So many freaking story arcs of other different characters, different fighters, male or female, robots, or freaking, they already say, anthropomorphic furries, characters. They could bring the old school one and two. They could bring one like the freaking Roger, Roger, Roger Jr., the freaking, I forgot the freaking T-Rex's name that looks like Jurassic Park, the Velociraptor. I know he was in there. And then like the freaking, the little wooden people. I always forgot the name because it's been so many years since I played the first second. But he was like a little wooden stick dummy that you train and practice with. They even have a white version of that too. A woman version of it. Not just a guy one. He was like a crash test dummy and he had these little like boxing gloves. They could bring those back. If they brought those back, I will cry tears of joy. Literally. If we get to see that. In the middle or the end of this year. I don't know. <laughs> and I've been focusing more on Guilty Gear and the other shit a lot more. And Street Fighter a little bit more, which is not good. But uh, Tekken's always going to be my freaking heart. It will always be my heart, damn man and Echo. He sounds really cool. His freaking beat. His music beats. He looks like a little bit of a slow, like, medium, bulky, hulky character a little bit, in my opinion. Because I never really played him that much as my main. He was one of my, not least favorite, because his sister was my most favorite of all time. I mean the shit out of her. Besides, like, three other ones I used to mean. It's not coming to mind at the moment, but well in the future. <laughs> but that was cool. I like that shit. That was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome stuff. Oh, man. Besides the music vibes, I don't know if they did that all with just fake AI-generated, like, freaking music beats and sound. They did this all in the studio. Or they actually use real actual orchestral instruments. Because I know since I'm half Puerto Rican, I have my old freaking roots. I remember my old great-grandparents and grandparents from that island saying... They were like called the timbales or whatever. They used to do, 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 like these sort of drums. That shit had me like, if you saw me, I was on a rhythmic beat. That's good. The drums and the freaking like, this weird old thing that they used in the background. That was cool. And some I used to go to old school Puerto Rican church. I used to live in Spanish Harlem, New York City, around that area. I used to go to all Hispanic church at that time. I brought back tears of joy and nostalgia. I was crying a little bit in the inside. You couldn't see it, but I was. So I did Gora. He's back. Hopefully I get to do more of this, man. God willing, if this end of the year doesn't end up having some scary, you know, can't say the certain words on YouTube, like scary um, doom and gloom shit doesn't happen. God forbid. Just leave it at that. Now let's get to pop culture news. Okay, so we're back with random pop culture news, video game industry news, and a little bit of extra serious news. I'm going to save most of it for the rest of the video, but I'll just read the top part of us. I'll read half of this article at least. Resident Evil 9 already has open world features, or excuse me, features Perfect it for an open world video game console or video game category genre. That's what I should, I would have called it. But this comes from Gotta Cry Credit Zoo, Jared Stewart. Resident Evil 9 is rumored to have, rumored to have an open world. And if, if so, the franchise is with one dominant feature as the all open world that AI needs. So it comes to say, yeah, maps of Resident Evil games are crucial. Oh God, there's so many fucking ads on this thing. That's how freaking desperate these people are for you to get their freaking money all the time. They're ads, 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 ads fucking pop-up ads. So I rarely read free for these articles that much anymore. Um, Resident Evil games are crucial for managing resources, of course, resources at its time. At its other time, yes, obviously. Rating atmosphere and artistry, hopefully I'm saying that, yeah, artistry and interaction key element, an open world Resident Evil game will require a detailed map and a series having shown adaptability for various perspectives and genres resident evil's making its way i'm just gonna read it here and that's it is making its way steadily to the ninth numbered mainline installment which comes with a lot of other expectations resident evil 9 game could follow chris redfield in europe rose winters far away in the future relatives of the present and days and any of the other new directions capcom wants to take with it resident evil has held on to a bunch of other features mechanics between recent entries it'll make sense for at least to see most of the Resident Evil 9 series. Most of them Resident Evil 9 game. And this other one, I'm not going to get into it. I might read it on a separate thing. This is going to be with a rabbit hole, within a rabbit hole, within a rabbit hole. I might not even catch up with it like I did a whole last year with Jonathan Majors, Jonathan Majors, Jonathan Majors. No offense if any of you guys are still watching to the end of this video. And I'm not trying to dunk and shit on black people all the time. And I do it on white people too, regardless. White people are always stupid and just as freaking guilty as black sometimes are. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're good. Like I always say, every race and ethnicity... 
it's always gonna have every heritage skin color regardless who you are it's always gonna have a lot of good people in it and a lot of unfortunately evil twisted corrupted people sadly how it is it's humanity and it's fine sadly sean diddy comes ex-girlfriend says they feds hurt i'm just gonna say harmful um, her son's post traumatic video in Los Angeles City, and she played the race car a little bit. Oh, if that would have been like black or something, it would have been more different. Oh, they want you to pay for all this shit too. <laughs> I ain't doing that. But that is what it is. There. It's all I gotta say for now. I'm out of here. Links to search about down below. Car on the side. That's it. Yeah, there it was. <laughs> and it's a young black man in red. Yeah, I'm not surprised on that shit, man. And it's election year. On top of that, I don't freaking play that race car bullshit, man. I'm sorry. I know everyone has their own freaking, like, thoughts, views, and opinions on that. I'm not going to say too, too much into that because I don't want to sound like, oh, I'm being a bigger racist of blacks and all that. But these people are millionaires, billionaires, bro. Sean P. Diddy Combs, he's probably not worth probably like $40, 50000000 million or $5, 10000000000 billion. I don't look up at all these people like I used to. That's not all I mentioned middle school and high school. I worship the shit out of these rap, hip-hop, R&B, like, rappers and MC moguls back when I was still living in Harlem, New York City. Even when I was still living here in Vegas, I used to go to this poor ghetto ass middle school. I'm not gonna say which one it is because I don't. Even though I don't live in that area anymore. It's over there. It's kind of like Compton and Ingalls. Scary as fuck out there, man. And even in daytime over there, it's scary as fuck going out there in those streets. I'm just saying, broad daylight. And then again, that's just what I own hot take on that. That's all, guys. Here for I'm out of here. Cutting out for short. Peace out, dudes. Bye. Some flip side. Stay more all future stuff that I usually react to. Video reactions, yada, 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 all that good stuff, etc., etc., etc. Stay safe, safe, cautious. Goodbye. Stay to more future content and channel and all the good stuff, and I'm out of here. Take it easy. Stay extra safe. I'm gone. See you later. Next future videos. Goodbye, guys.